Let's talk about the Rocket Monday Night Raw. First of all, that Raw overall was one of the better Raws, I have to say. It was entertaining. Um, Seth, Drew, and CM Punk was going at each other. And to the point where I don't even think that shit was uh, scripted. I think when he when Punk brought up Becky, Seth's face was like, you mother. And then Drew sitting over there with his skirt. It, listen, it was it was good. Drew been, Drew been showing his ass, and I love it. But the highlight of the night, of course, was um, The Rock whooping Cody's ass. He whooped Cody's ass. Only issue I would take with the whole situation is nobody came to help Cody that whole time. Even they showed him The Rock had footage where the cameras kept rolling and he steady whooping Cody's ass with this belt that he done said exactly to the Cody's mother I'm gonna give you a weight belt with Cody blood on it and he he did that he he did he was spitting at Cody and shit it was a lot it was blood and it was raining I thought he was gonna throw him over that ramp I was just like oh he finna do it he didn't do it um I think Seth or somebody should have ran in, even if they was blocking him. Or if he'd have ran and tried to help and let Rock knock Seth out, that should have been funny as fuck. Oh my goodness, I think that was a missed opportunity. But overall, The Rock getting in the ring, unexpected. He was not um, scheduled to be at Raw. And he put his hands behind his back to calm Cody down. And he whispered to Cody. Now we know he told Cody, I'm going to make you bleed tonight. Like, what kind of... How are you standing in the rain and a motherfucker going to say something like that to you? Cody, I, I, either Cody got like a delayed reaction syndrome. Or he's just that goddamn scared. Listen... That was just fantastic. I don't know how many times I can say it. I mean, word on the street is everybody's annoyed because the rock and cuss and all that. But damn, he giving uncle vibes. He's just just as abusive as Roman. He just as abusive as Roman. He said, "This is what happens when you fuck with the final boss." And I'm gonna whoop your ass. He kept saying, "Boy, boy, boy." It's just like, okay, okay. So what needs to be happening? If Cody comes out on Raw tomorrow, because it's Sunday, and his ass is in a 12-piece suit, and he's standing up there and run them damn jaws on that mic, I know something. It should be on motherfucking sight. If I was Cody and you done did me like that and ripped me out my suit and spit all on me and whooped me and did all that stuff, the moment I see your fucking ass, first of all, I'm not wearing a suit. I'm going to have a sweatsuit on. And the moment I see your ass, I'm on your head. You ever, you know how you run down the ramp and the rock should be walking to the ring or something? Cody should jump on his head. And then have Roman be in that ring. And that's when Seth come in and jump on Roman. They need to be touching at some point. They need to touch. Because shit, this is it. This is the last Raw before um Mania, ain't it? Because tomorrow's the first. Yeah. So they need to be touching. It should be an all-out brawl. The Rock should get mad. You motherfucker. You, do you know what you don't do? I mean, it, sh it could be outrageous. The first hour of Raw is commercial free. Now, it could be commercial free. And they could go at it for a few minutes until somebody get mad. And fucking put their hands on somebody. Or they could just be putting their hands on each other. And got to have the whole building break them up. Like, they could do a whole lot of stuff. But that ending to Raw was an ending to a very good show. It wasn't like the show was bad and it's only good because of what happened at the end. The show was decent. Unfortunately, the people got, who got the short end of the stick were the ladies. Um, the only people who got a match, I don't, if you want to consider that a match, was... Uh, what's her name? Um, Gargano and... Andy Hartwell, because she's trying to do this whole thing with being a heel by any means and being mean and stuff, but everybody's like not on board. But I just think this was fantastic. This was fantastic, and they got to keep the momentum because Roman versus Cody ain't the match. They done got it to where Cody versus Rock is the match. At some point in SummerSlam, at SummerSlam, at some point in WrestleMania, 
Roman and Seth gonna roll out that ring, and Cody and Rock gonna stand in and go at it, and let them two go and rock for a minute. Cause that's what I wanna see. I don't know why the Rock is on Cody like this. Cause he, he, he called Seth a walking emoji and just threw his ass to the wayside. But he, he been on Cody ass. Rock said on Instagram. I hate constraints and bullshit rules. And just because some WWE producer says clear, meaning we're no longer live on the air and the show's over, that doesn't mean I just stop whatever I'm doing. I'm and tell everybody great job. It fucking pissed me off. I can't shut my high emotions off just because the script says we're done. But even in this crazy fucking world of pro wrestling, this is a microcosm of the larger issue I have with individuals, corporations, and governments telling us what we can and can't do. You have to do it this way. You have to say it that way or you'll get canceled. They create fear if you have a different perspective and don't live by their rules. Is their way or no way? Fuck that. I say it the way I want to say it and I do it the way I want to do it. My choice. Our choice. Well, shit. They said The Rock trying to run for um, office. I don't know what... But now, when he came out with that black and white flag uh, of his rock apparel, I don't know about that because it was given... It was given ultra patriotic Republican. So I don't know what ticket the rock would be running on. You know. But he looking real uncleish cussing like this on the uh down to the WWE. Look at that blood. Yeah. Look at this blood. Yeah. <laughs> Why Cody ain't say fuck? What? Show is over and then it stops? Fuck that. Your script? Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens, boy. When you fuck with the final, come in here, cameraman. Look at that face. Oh, look, at that. look at that. Now, Mama Rose. Mama Rose. This is for you. That's for you. I'll see you at WrestleMania. <laughs> Look at the rock wall. Look at Bobby Roode. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. Listen. Uh, I don't know why the rock cussing is so fucking funny to me. He sound like some old ass man. <laughs> Fuck him. This is just good television. This is just good television. That's all I need to see. And I also, before I get off of this, I just want to applaud Cody Rhodes for being a good sport and taking these ass whippings the way he's taking it. And he made himself bleed or whatever the case may be. Blood was perfect in this moment. Can somebody tell that to John Moxley? I think this was fantastic. Raw was one of the better episodes in the last couple years. And... I just, you know, it's all of this is so great, and I'm, unfortunately, it's like it's gonna come to an end, and I'm gonna be sad, cause it's gonna be, blah, I don't know. What y'all think in the comments? Later.